Let's start. Thank you. Welcome back to Blue Exorcist Anime Review, episode number 25. Congratulations to this series for reaching episode 25. We're here reviewing the penultimate episode of season 3 for Blue Exorcist of the Shima Illuminati Arc, episode 48, Pink Spider. This episode adapts from page 8 to 33 of chapter 64, which effectively finishes up adapting the, the arc basically the season the main after. And it also adapts pages 7 to 33 of chapter 65 and the first 33 pages of chapter 66. We pick up less of last episode where Bond is talking to, I believe it's his brother, because there's no mention of about their father being here. So he regrets to form that, oh yeah, she was a traitor, and they inform they've known that all along. Yeah, apparently this is all Fisk's idea for him to infiltrate the Illuminati. And the fact that Shima basically volunteered to go to deal with Illuminati. Yep. Then right afterwards, they proceed to go back to cram school. They skip over, like, the first... They, they do give explanation of how in the world became a spy for... for the Chubu class basically spying on, well, Illuminati and what we'll he'll later. And then they're back in Cram School. They skip over the first six pages of 665 for no reason. I mean, it's like back in business as usual. I'm not really sure exactly why the, these chat pages were skipped. I did check. These episodes, these, they're not even after for next week's episode. It's like they didn't bother. So it seems like everything's back to normal. Graham School's back in session, first time in a while. And then, of course, you have Rin basically posting as Shima. Everyone thinks he, 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 he is Shima, but he really isn't. And then the real Shima shows up, and they're like, wait a minute, didn't he betray him? And they beat the crap out of him. It turns out that, and then, of course, there's some of them pisses off, but he's even basically burned butt naked by, by Rin in order to punish him. Yeah, it turns out, and of course, Pisto, it turns out, though, and of course, also the reason why he sounded off is because, oh, we had this very pesky figure from the Vatican showed up, and it's Lit Lightning, who is a very well-respected figure and basically said command of Blue Cross. He's here to judge if Fakshim was trustworthy. And the fact gets revealed from him. That the reason why he went back because he basically is there to be a spy for the Illuminati. So we spy on both. Because they don't trust him. And of course, Ren's like, Yeah, we don't trust him because of Visto. It's all his fault. <laughs> and everybody's like all tacky him. I think that was quite funny. They even got the fact that he's actually Samael, the King of Light, which is a publicly known, it's common knowledge. Which is kind of weird when they skip that out of the anime. So then, of course, basically, have to think of fencing, and of course, well, by the way, also, uh, Shima does <laughs> beat him up with the boxes after he's burned naked. He's like, oh, he wants to bury himself in, Sh in uh, Shiro's chest, in Shimi's chest, and she proceeds to karate chop him in the head. <laughs> Which, uh, anybody basically could tell, he rightfully deserved that beating over the whole by his friends. Because the fact he betrayed them and basically didn't tell them anything. And also, Sh Shima herself basically is happy the fact that she's perfectly fine. But why didn't he tell him basically he was a spy for him? He first was the puppet kid, now it's basically Shima. You think, but watch this, it seems like basically the writer just basically put it right at this rear end. Even though that this is actually the manga. And this is not something that was made for the anime to redeem Shima. No, it's not their fault. It's the manga writer's fault. It's his fault, basically, for this. So after he seemed trustworthy, lightning leaves. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a funny thing here where Shira basically just, like, snapped, like, across the room. And, and of course, eventually all transfer us like for Shima and Yuriko, where they chat for a bit. And, of course, the episode's quite an interesting note, where Shima... 
Martell's? Yuriko. Yeah, I met him. The commander. He's like, you met him, right? The commander. Lucifer. And we see also in the episode, the cameras focus on Yuriko's eyes. Where they're like, not fiery red, per se, it's like a red circle around them. I'm like, that's interesting. And this is going to continue in the next episode. Excuse me. And kind of in a way, we're starting the Exorcist exam mark. Which is interesting, the fact that we're starting this now. And here's the thing. With next episode, they're not even going to finish definitely of this arc. They're not going to finish that in the next season. When it, I think I heard something this season's going to come back in October. Which is basically about five months away. Yep. But yeah, really good episode. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And you watch this episode. Yeah, that feels like an aftermath episode. Feels like an epilogue to all that whole arc. And next episode is like a finale. But yeah, not really much else to say about this particular episode. I enjoyed it. Mm hmm. Yep. So, that's pretty much it, particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Next up, we're going to do a comment corner. I know it's the midnight, but I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible, okay? See you next video.